What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button, give the videos a like, give it a comment, I will get back to you. So we're back down in the garage to do wet sanding on the mini bits and pieces that need to be sprayed. Hopefully my brother said he'd be down tonight. It would be nice to get them sprayed, but we're also fitting new coilovers to Aaron's EG6. I'm after buying the standard shocks and the standard springs off him. And um, he doesn't like the ride of the car. He said it's a um, he thinks it's too low but it's it's a low feeling he wants the car a little bit higher but i think the car looks and rides fine but all to their own so i'm after buying brand new oem shocks and lowering springs for the k20 project because i'm not spending eight nine hundred euro on coilovers it just won't make a difference i had an eg9 track car before with tn lowering springs and standard shocks and the car handled fantastic on the track and yeah it was pretty decent so as you can see aaron has been down to the garage he is working on reaper's rig he has most of the welding done all the way around they're literally taking the paint off it we got some blue cleaner so the paint will be removed it's going back to metal it's getting primed and it's going to be done right so then it won't rust again hopefully not but these are a very rare and desirable pickup and he wants it finished to a fairly high standard because he wants it as a show truck for his validin company and his detailing company so yeah if you're not following reaper on the owl instagram hit him up reaper's rig i'll stick all every link in the description down below go give him a follow go give him a like as he's a super cool dude uh one of my best mates he's really he's really sound and would do anything for you so hit him up for your detailing goods also guys don't forget reaper detailing so guys in the last video you've seen me prime the front lip now i did notice there is a micro crack there but you know what i honestly don't give a shit the, this front bumper hits every speed ramp so it takes a good abuse so what i'm going to do is before i do put it on the car after it's painted i am going to fill the back of it with some expanding foam so then it will take a few more hits plus i'm hiring the car up a bit and i might even just drill a few holes and do some yeah drift stuff you know do the cable toys in the next pattern or something like that just to keep it together but it's just taken so long to get everything done the car isn't a show car the car's been rebuilt and resprayed to drive I, like i drove this car every weekend and mostly during the week even i drove it to work and back the car gets used it's not a track car it's not a show car but i wanted to finish it in a nice finish that would look good if i did bring it to a show so i'll show you the other bits that i done so the boot lid is absolutely mint. There's no runs in the primer. There's no runs in any primer. We put one of the arches on over this side. It really fits good. It's really nice. I can't wait to get them sprayed on the car with all the rubber and all the nice new hardware that I got. And then once that's done and the boot lid is on and the spoiler is on and everything is buttoned up with all the new seals, it will be then sort an air filter for it and then get the ride height and camber right. It's going down to a company down the road on the Ballymount Road. Um, I don't actually know the name of the place, but if I do find out, I'll stick it in the link down below they're really good they do four-wheel alignment and the likes of rally suspension so they'll they look after your three-way and four-way adjustable bottom arms and top arms and stuff just like this mini has it's an all-speed kit from the uk it's all standard mini suspension except for the bottom arms that are curved i will show you actually if you look back at this video here you will see the arms the way they're bent it's to stop the wheels turning into them so let's get cracking on the wet sanding on the bumper the arches and this beautiful cracked front lip
I am out of here. The lads are still working on the van there. Aaron has a Civic out here. The coilovers are fitted and they look good. Let's have a look, see if we can see in the dark. So it's a bit higher at the front, but it's actually much higher at the back. It does look better, drives a bit better. So hopefully he's happy with that. We got the other shocks out. They're going into my Civic. So I will have actually proper suspension in my Civic, not m mixed matched coilovers that are crap. So that's me done for the night. I'm heading home. Well, I'm going up to Reaper now. Um, he's up polishing Aaron's car for the past day, well, the whole day. So I'm gonna grab him a bit of grub, meet him there, and then head home because I'm in work all day. The absolute effort. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.